I know some people are gonna get seriously butthurt about that intro, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm a nice guy. Anyways, go past YouTube, and as you can see here, actually, hold on, where's the thing? Um, Ubers was the one that got the most thumbs up. Next, it was UU, then OU, then NU, and then RU, and that's going to be the list of my next showdown lives. So this one will obviously be UU, and I'm using a team that I got from my boy Edgar just because I've not made an Ubers team in so long, and I just decided to ask one. Uh, from Edgar, but yeah, as you can see, it's a Sun offense team. I really like the fact that he has Darkrai and uh, Custop uh, Fortress and Lumberry Ground. I just like this team. I just really, really like this team. <laughs> but yeah, with that, let's get this started. So we're going to get into our first battle. All right, battle number one, and my opponent also has a very offensive team. Uh, looking at threats, I guess Kiram is actually going to be a bit of a problem. But I think my best lead either way is Fortress, unless he leads off with Darkrai. Uh, damn it. <laughs> this is not good. Because now something on my team has got to be put to sleep. I should have let off with Genesect. That was really dumb on my part, possibly. Yeah. Uh, either way, I'm just going to stay in because I don't want anything else on my team being put to sleep. Plus, there's always a possibility of me getting a first turn wake or him, do or him knocking me down to my sturdy range. So I'm just going to stay in, trying to wake up. And thankfully I am able to wake up as he brings in the Groudon. I'm able to get up a layer of spikes and I'm going to go for a layer of Tox spikes. As he turns out to have the Fire Punch, he gets a crit, which I highly doubt matters. Uh, just because this uh, fortress only had max attack, not uh, EVs and anything else, which is what Edgar had. And I'm pretty sure somebody already left a comment saying, Oh, why do you only have attack EVs? But yeah. Anyways, now I can just bring in my Latios and nothing on his team switches into a Draco. Something's dying. Oh no, what? Okay, um, I severely underestimated Latias. I was really hoping it would kill Groudon, but yeah, I'm just gonna go for another one because I really have no reason not to. Although, if that Genesect does, not Genesect, but if the Arceus turns out to be Swords Dance, I do have my own Genesect. Plus, I have Arceus Ghost, which can kind of deal with Swords Dance Arceus, so I'm not entirely too worried about it. Although I feel like he's going to want to bring in the Dark Cry if anything to try to put something else to sleep on my team. And yep, that is exactly what happens. I basically have to choose something to be put to sleep because even though I do have Lumberry on Groudon, if I switch it in, Lumberry will activate then he can just put me to sleep next turn. So, yeah. Um, damn it. I, I need Latias because I can knock something out every free switch in. And I want to be able to save Genesect and I want to save my Arceus and I want to save my own Darkrai but I don't really know uh I guess maybe oops sorry about that I guess maybe my own Darkrai is kind of the least helpful thing to me on my team as he goes with Dark Void he's not gonna miss that's fine <laughs> it's not really too big of a deal and I'm gonna switch into my Latios predicting him to go for the um Focus Blast as he actually switches out into the Mew and I'm actually in a pretty good position I kind of just want to go for the recover because I know I can take an ice beam I just don't know how well and I want to see if he has life orb or not um I think I'm just gonna Draco though as he does go for the ice beam and mm, I take that decently well I thought it would do a lot more actually and Mewtwo just died okay that's good uh, Mewtwo and Groudon out of the way as this turn he's probably just gonna bring in back the dark cry because obviously he can't force me to switch out switch out and he can get off a hit on whatever I bring in as he does bring in the dark cry mm, I kind of want to switch to my own dark cry but then if I lose my own dark cry that means something else on my team gets put to sleep and Latios is not fast enough to outspeed dark cry so I kind of want to switch into Genesect because I feel like he's just going to want to go straight for the dark pulse unless he goes for a substitute then that could be bad for me but if he does go for the focus blast that could also be bad for me luckily though he does just go for the save dark pulse and now I'm going to be able to get Swish Initiative. Swish. I always say Swish Initiative. <laughs> Switch Initiative. Because I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. I really have no reason not to. And he's scarfed. Okay, I was not expecting that. But I'm able to get rid of his Dark Cry, which is really great. And I think by bringing in my Arceus Ghost, nothing on his team can knock out Arceus in one hit at least. Because I don't want to bring in Latios. Latios, because then he can just bring in Rayquaza or Arceus to knock me out with extreme speed. If I bring in Groudon, he then brings in Kiram. So yeah, I think Arceus Ghost right now is my safety switch in. Because as I said, nothing on his team should be able to knock me out with one hit. So 
I'm sitting in a good position right now as he brings in the Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Judgment. And that's an easy 2 KO as he goes for a Dragon Dance. Okay, that's interesting. But he... Okay, do I really need Latios, honestly? Because I can fodder off Latios to the Outrage, bring in Genesect and knock him out with an Ice Beam. But then I bait him to bring in Arceus. Hmm, or even Kiram. I don't know, because I think if Arceus was Swords Dance, he would have brought it in by now. See, so yeah, I think maybe foddering off Latios right now is my best play, because I know he's want to go. I know he's gonna want to go straight for the outrage, and if he goes for a V crate, then I can just bring back in Arceus and knock him out with the Judgment. So yeah, I'm gonna fodder off Latios. Uh, that way, I can bring in my Genesect and Revenge kill him. As he actually turns out to have the Earthquake. All right, I did not see that one coming. That wouldn't have been able to knock out Arceus, so I didn't know why he didn't go straight for the outrage. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Draco as he just knocks me out with the Extreme Speed. That's fine by me, because now I should be able to bring in Groudon, because my Genesec can only live one more Stealth Rock switch in, and I want to be able to save that for later on, as I'm just going to go straight for the Dragon Tail, because I should be able to easily knock him out, if anything. Actually, no. Hmm. I could go for the Stealth Rocks, I suppose. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Because, uh, is he Life Orb? Yeah, okay, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. As he just- Oh, I just died! Okay, I honestly thought I could live that. Yeah, apparently not. Rayquaza is fucking powerful. Well, now I can just knock him out with Genesex Iron Head at the least. Okay, for, okay, for a second there, I thought- I thought I said that Rayquaza lived. I was like, what?! <laughs> okay, thank you. And it does turn out to be Arceus normal. Why didn't you bring this in earlier? Well, I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. Because I can still get off some decent damage with the Iron Head. Maybe get a flinch? Yes! My Genesect is well trained. And I'm just going to... I don't know why he's not Extreme Speed to knock me out. But flinch, flinch, flinch. No, Swords Dance. Okay. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. As he just knocks me out. Please be Life Orbed. No, he's probably Lumberry. That would be understandable. And... Please don't miss. Thank you! Thank you, Arceus Ghost. Pulling through for me as he brings in his last, which is Kiram. I'm going to recover just to see what he wants to lock himself into. And I guess he specs as he goes for the Draco. I just, oh my lord. Okay, that thing just destroyed me. I should have switched into Darkrai. Damn it. Ah, yeah, that was... That was really dumb of me. That was a good game. And this guy had a pretty good score, so I don't feel too bad about losing. In the end, it was really my fault for leaving in Arceus. I should have switched into Darkrai to see what he wanted to lock himself into, then bring in Arceus, and yeah. But hey, I don't really play Uber, so I'm not entirely too upset about that. So let's get into our second battle. Alright, battle number two, and another offensive team, but this guy has Deoxys Speed, which could be a problem because he is faster than my Genesec. Um, I think I'm going to lead off with Fortress. To see what he wants to do and I think I'm just gonna go straight for the gyro ball to see if he does have the taunt because I know he might want to go for that yep and he does turn out to have the taunt and gyro holy crap gyro ball is an easy to a KO wow I was not expecting that okay I feel like maybe he's gonna want to switch out to save him to save the oxy speed but I think just gyro ball is my safest play as he brings in the palkia and I get off a decent hit on that and I don't know if he specs or what, because I think, yeah, I'm just going to switch into Arceus because I can just recover off any damage that he wants to go for as he goes for the Surf. Okay, I don't know if that's specs damage or what, but I'm still just going to go for the safe recover as he ends up switching out into the Kyogre. That's uh, fine by me, no big deal here. I'm just going to go straight for the Judgment because I can get off a decent hit on whatever as he just goes for the safe Surf. And 35%. Eh, it isn't too much, but it's still a good amount of damage because now I don't have to worry about him going for water spouts. And judging from the damage, he is indeed Scarf. Obviously, that and he did outspeed my Arceus Ghost. So now I could drop a Draco on anything. Um, then again, I feel like he's going to want to bring in Genesect. And then he can just get Switch Initiative with U-Turn, but I can also switch to my own Genesect as he U-Turn. So yeah, I think just Draco Meter right now, either way, is my safest play. Because, as I said, something's going to get taken out as he does just bring in the Genesect. That's fine by me. And Oh, it just died. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, somebody said they find it annoying when I say it just died. So, I, I'm going to try to stop saying that. But, yeah, I got a crit 
Obviously, I think that mattered just because Genesec, I mean, is a steel type. So, yeah, sorry about that, man, as he brings in his RC's Ghost. Um, ah, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to bring in my Darkrai. And just see what he wants to do as he goes for- Oh, I got predicted! And I got popped. Whoa. That's no bueno. That's actually really not good. This thing's a problem now. Uh, if I bring in Fortress, he then can just calm mind up. And this will go very bad for me. If I bring in Groudon, he gets off a huge hit with uh, Judgment. But I need to force him out and somehow find a way to get up my Toxic Spike so I can prevent him from setting up on my team. So I think I'm just going to go strip for the Earthquake as he switches out into the Deoxys Speed. I guess maybe thinking I will go for my Stealth Rocks, which I guess is understandable. But still, that was a pretty risky play as he brings back into Kyogre. I feel like this turn he's going to want to go for the Ice Beam. And... I don't know if Latias can take two hits from that, so I think Fortress is actually my safest play. As he brings in the Arceus Ghost. Crap, this is not good for me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, I'm still just going to try to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes to see what he wants to do. Maybe there's a possibility that he isn't Calm Mind, and thankfully he switched out. I don't know why he did that, but I really don't care, because now I can get up two layers. Actually, I think, yeah, I think two layers would be better for me just because on the off chance that he is calm mind for some reason, I can um, stall him out a lot easier. Plus, uh, with me being knocked down into my sturdy range, I will also be able to get up a layer of spikes. So in the end, I'll be getting good residual damage on his team every time they switch in as he knocks me out with a second surf. This should give me a free opportunity to bring in my Latias, but I want to see how much... Oh no, 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 yeah, I think just Latias right now is my safest play. And I'm just going to go for the recover. Because there's a possibility he could uh, switch at moves and spatial run. Don't die! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm dropping a Draco. I, I have to do that. I have to get rid of this. Okay, for a second there, I thought I missed. I was about to be <laughs> really angry. Uh, thankfully, I didn't miss, though. He's going to bring in the Garatina. I have a good switch in in the form of Groudon. And then I can just go straight for an Earthquake or a Stone Edge, if anything. Actually, I could really just go for a Dragon Tail. As he goes for the Draco. Oh, look at that survival. Don't miss. And get out of here. Getting off a decent bit of damage. As I Dragon Tail him out to the Arceus. Um, oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. How much HP is Kyogre at? 65%. Do I really need my Groudon at this point? I'm going to try to get up Stealth Rocks. If anything, as he just knocked me out with the Judgment. Alright, that's fine. Because now I can start getting that Toxic damage off. And I should be able to bring in Genesect. And just, uh, actually... I could double lie into my Latias, if anything. Because I feel like he's going to want to bring Kyogre. Predicting me to go for the Iron Head. Also, I could... Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn. Oh, he's going to stay in. Okay. He might just go for the Flux Blast, so I'm going to bring in my own Arceus. As he actually goes for the Recover. That's not too big of a deal, because you see there, uh, Toxic is going to start wearing him down. And I'm going to go for Recover. Oh, thank you, I am faster, but this is going to hurt. Yeah, I did a lot of damage. And after 50%, I'll be at around 73%. So I don't really think I should go for another one. I think I'm just going to go straight for the Judgment. Oh, and it's a speed tie, and he just knocks me out. Oh, this is no bueno. This is no bueno at all. Um, How much damage did you turn do earlier? That 11%. Crap, I have to go for the Iron Head. Flinch, flinch. No. F oh, but he misses the Focus Blast. Okay, then. No, yeah, I think I also lost this battle just because uh, I am going to have to bring in Latios and then Jaretina can just knock me out with a Shadow Sneak. So I'm just going to Iron Head. Maybe I can flinch him to death. I don't know. Flinch. Nope. Knocks me out. Yep. And I think that's a good game. Yeah, look, he even knows it. So I'm just going to go for a safe recover as he goes for the Surf. I'll recover back up. Until eventually, maybe... Actually, no, maybe I can live with Shadow Sneak. Uh, well, we're gonna have to find out. Because I think this turn, he's gonna get knocked out by Toxic. Yeah, okay, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna bring in the Garatina, and I'm going to get knocked out. Oh, no, I lived! Don't miss! Yes! And... Oh! Wow, okay, that was, uh, that was a good game. Yeah, wow, this guy was actually, was actually pretty high on the ladder. Yeah.
That was pretty fun. Alright, we're gonna get another battle. Alright, I think this is going to be the last battle just because I don't have enough time to do a fourth battle. So yeah, sorry that I have to make this one a little bit short. But we have yet another offensive team. This time it is Rain Offense. Obviously, I think he's just going to want to lead off with Deoxys. So I feel my best lead should be Genesec because Scarf Genesec should outspeed uh, Deoxys' attack as he actually leads off with the Dialga. Alright, I'm just going to go straight for the U-turn right on out into my fortress because he doesn't have a spinner so any type of hazard I do get up will be here to stay for this battle. Plus, he might just want to go for his own Stealth Rocks as he actually turns out to have Thunder Wave. Oh, this is not going to go good for me. And he's going to go for the Flamethrower as I'm going to be able to get up at least one layer of spikes and hopefully I do not get paralyzed this turn. And thank you. Okay, good. Got up two layers as he actually goes for the... Uh, stealth rocks wow actually that was a really smart play on his part he must have predicted me to have cussed off all right my opponent knows what he's doing as he's gonna knock me out with the second flamethrower that's perfectly fine by me because now I should be able to bring in my Groudon which is gonna be able to outspeed this Dialga and get off a huge hit with earthquake on anything except Rayquaza but I don't think he's gonna want to risk bringing that in and I don't really think I need Stealth Rocks for the time being, so I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake to be able to get rid of this Dialga so I can prevent him from Thunder Waving anything else on my team. Because according to Edgar, Thunder Wave is... Actually, no, Thunder Wave is broken in Ubers because I had a battle, a battle bl earlier uh, before I started recording and I literally lost because of a, of a uh, pair of hacks. And of course he brings in Rayquaza, why would you do this? Um, I'm just gonna Dragon Tail. I really have no reason not to as it goes for the V Create. And with him having a minor defense drop, this should do a good amount of damage, if not possibly take him out as he lives on 10%. And he turns out to have Arceus Ghost. Alright, well, that's understandable. Um, I'm thinking he's just gonna want to go straight for the Judgment. But I don't think I should switch out. Ah. Uh, I can't switch anything in onto this because if I bring in Darkrai, actually no, yeah, I could just bring in Darkrai and try to save Groudon until I can get a free switch onto it on the Dialga. Because by bringing in Darkrai, I obviously do resist Judgment, so I can then just go for the uh, Dark Pulse, and that did too much. But I could also just go for the Dark Void, which is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, I don't miss. And if for some reason he wants to leave in Arceus, that's perfectly fine by me. That's one less thing I have to worry about. Actually, maybe I could just go for the Dark Pulse. Because if he wants to bring in Rayquaza, that could maybe have the Lumberry. But I feel like that v Cray did way too much damage, so I'm thinking that he's banned it. But either way, yeah, I think just Dark Pulse right now is my safest play, as he does bring in the Rayquaza. That's one giant threat out of the way. Unfortunately, though, this now gives him a free switch into the Arceus or his Deoxys attack, which can possibly knock out something on my team, depending on whatever he decides to bring in. And I do want to be able to save Darkrai because I want to be able to put something to sleep later on in the battle. And yeah, uh, why are you not making a move, sir? Hello? Please make a move. Alright, so how's it going, everybody? Oh, how's your day? Yep, I'll... Um... Okay, so he finally made a move. Um, he did just bring in Deoxys. Actually, I have Sucker Punch. Oh, Extreme Speed. Damn it. Okay then. Forgot all about that. But now I can just bring in Genesect, and I should be able just to go for a safe U-turn. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Because I am Scarfed, and I am going to be faster than him. Just because Deoxys attack doesn't have the same speed as the Ox's speed obviously and he does just bring in the Dialga so now I should be able to bring in my Groudon and uh, knock something out with an Earthquake possibly so yeah I'm just gonna go straight for the Earthquake and if I get rid of Dialga that'll be pretty good for me because that's one less thing I have to worry about if he switches something else in then that's gonna take a huge hit because I believe this Groudon is offensive actually hold on let me check yeah here's a team right quick and yeah it's actually Adam and Max Attack Alright, so, able to knock out the Dialga, unfortunately though, yeah, he's probably going to be able to win the Weather War now. And, ah, uh, I don't know, actually, if I stay in, then I can see if he specs or scarf, so I'm just going to go straight for an Earthquake. 
and he does turn out to be Scarfed. And now I should be able to just bring in my Latias. And I think going for the Psy Shock would actually be my better play. Because I feel like he's just going to leave in Kyogre for fodder. Yes. Oh no, he Spexed. Hmm. Huh. Hold on. What? Oh wow, yeah, and then he must be running max speed. Okay. Yeah, that, okay, that was really dumb on my part. Either way, I'm just going to go for a safe recover right now. Because I want to be able to be at... at, um, at I want to be able to be at as much... HP as possible. I don't know why I can't speak. I'm I think just today is not my day guys <laughs> But I'm going to get rid of the Kyogre As he is going to bring something else in I feel like he's gonna want to bring in the Arceus or the Deoxys will do as well and I don't know. I think I can live a hit but I don't know if I can knock him out with a Psy Shock. And I need my Genesect. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to stay in and go for a Psy Shock. Oh, I'm able to live. Please, please, please. Yes. It gets knocked out. Let's go. All right. Good. That's one threat out of the way. One less thing I have to worry about. He's going to bring in the Arceus. I don't think I'm faster than him. So I'm still just going to go for a Draco Meteor. Because he more than likely is just going to want to try to finish me off with the Judgment. Yep. As he knocks me out. I can now bring in my own Arceus and I should be able to live one judgment from him. Maybe I can win a speed tie and knock him out. And uh, here's a moment of truth. Because he can't safely switch into Mewtwo and if he switches out then that means his Arceus will be at lower HP than it is right now. So his best bet to do is just stay in as I knock him out. Yes! Alright good. This basically seals me to victory. <laughs> and yeah that was... That was a pretty lucky win on my part. And he got extremely butthurt about that. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this, I apologize that it was a little bit short. I'm sorry that I don't know English. Uh, and also, for those of you who are wondering, um, English is my second language. My first language is Spanish because I know some of you guys have been um, asking me that uh, the past couple of days. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, I am Mexican. I'm not white. So... Yeah, anyways, uh, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content, and I hope you all enjoyed this showdown live. So with that, I am out of here. Later, everybody.